morning. We are back again, and when I say me, or we, I mean me, uh, back again for another attempt at morning prayer, at morning devotions, uh, live on Facebook Live. Uh, so, as we get this started, uh, just know if you are looking for the beautiful music that exists um, out there, uh, if you're looking for beautiful music that exists uh, from the ELW with the Matins, please, uh, please Google that and you can find it. I found a whole bunch of videos and I was hoping to be able to uh, recreate them and uh, it'll take some more practice. Uh, I'm not there yet. Hey Jenna. Hi Joanna. Um, I have not... Um, been able to recreate all of the the fun beautiful sounding music yet and so um, and so you're just gonna get this these words uh, from my mouth and if like I said if you want to hear the the pretty noises um, pretty sounds of beautiful music go ahead and Google that afterwards or maybe um, mute me and go Google it while I'm doing it and then like overlay the music on top of everything that's happening right here so but good morning to all of you either Andrew my homie up in Rochester so uh, it's gonna be the regular matin service it's uh, dialogue doxology uh, psalmody uh, a one reading from the daily lectionary uh, the gospel canticle what else do we have here um, the prayers I'll get to the point where I'll just know this, uh, the Lord's Prayer and then the Blessing. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit louder today. Uh, hey there, Joe. I'm going to try to be a little bit louder today so this picks up. And uh, my hope is to do this Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays because it's a little, you know, a little 10, 15 minute <clears throat> thing. It's not too long. And uh, for those people that are able to watch, fantastic. You can come back and watch it. That's great, too. Uh, and as these weeks continue, I'll try to get better and better at it. And next thing you know, uh, by the end, I'll be wearing a mitre and I'll have a bishop's staff and I'll be uh, intoning and chanting this uh, like the best monks that live throughout the world. <clears throat> so let us begin. If you have an ELW, we uh, are beginning on page 298. Hey there, Chip. Um, we're beginning on page 298, the small numbers. Uh, at the bottom of the page uh, with a dialogue and doxology, the matins service. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. I'm going to move this over. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. You have been born anew through the living and abiding word of God. And one reading for this morning, uh, for the daily lectionary, for those who uh, do not follow it, which is absolutely fine. I don't know a ton of people that do. But for the daily lectionary, uh, just like on Sundays, they give uh, at least three readings throughout the, the year. And so one of the readings uh, for today is from Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. It's verses 1 through 8. 
this is the NIV version because it's what I pulled up and I'm not going to take the time to switch it. So uh, just pray for me in the hour of my death if this was the wrong translation to read today. So Jeremiah 23 verses 1 through 8. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to the shepherds who tend my people. Because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them, I will bestow punishment on you for the evil you have done, declares the Lord. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them and will bring them back to their pasture where they will be fruitful and increase in number. I will place shepherds over them who will tend them, and they will no longer be afraid or terrified, nor will any be missing, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteous Savior. So then, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the Israelites up out of Egypt. But they will say, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of Israel up out of the land of the north and out of all the countries where he banished them. Then they will live in their own land. The word of the Lord. Just a quick note on this reading um, that the memory, one of the most cherished memories, one of the, the foundations of bedrock, if you will, of the, of the Jewish faith in the Old Testament is the retelling, the remembering, the going back to and recalling uh, the event of the Exodus and being saved uh, from Egypt and, and people remembering that Exodus, that redemption that God provided for them. And what this is saying at the end of Jeremiah 23 uh, in verses 7 and 8 is uh, the prophet is saying, yes, the Exodus is amazing. The Exodus is, is part of what it means to be Jewish. Uh, but this event, God bringing us out of exile and returning us to the land, returning us to Jerusalem, uh, returning us to the promised land that God had, has given us, that will be remembered just as much as the Exodus. That will be just as great of an event. And so Jeremiah is letting the people know the day is coming. It's going to be amazing and God is going to bring us back to the promised land. God is going to deliver us. And forever after that, people remember will remember what God has done for us. So that's just a little snippet there, a little thought explanation of what is going on there. All right, let's see here. The Gospel Canticle. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath that you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace, and to the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Continue with the prayers. Yes, you can help. You can help, yes. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day due. 
Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ in all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially, we pray, for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all, for all who strive to save carelessness and destruction, for all who strive to save the earth, um, for the church, I should say, um, for the church of Jesus Christ in every land. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now gathered into the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. All right, it was great seeing you all, Kelly and Becky and Matt, uh, Paul. Great seeing you all this morning. Um, once again, Elizabeth, great to see you. Um, I will uh, try to do this again on Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 8 o'clock. Um, so tell 50 friends, and, um, and then this thing will just take off. Uh, it'll be amazing. So uh, thank you for being here. May God bless you this day. And uh, as always, even though we are apart, please know that my heart and my prayers, my thoughts are with all of you. God love you. Peace.